What's up guys, this is Derek with Get Techie, and today we are going to learn how to correctly clean the keyboard and trackpad of a MacBook or MacBook Pro. There are a lot of incorrect ways to clean your MacBook Pro that could further damage the keys or trackpad and make your computer not work functionally as it should. But with that said, let's get started. Um, the two different items that you're going to need to clean these are some type of cleaner, which I have a Lysol cleaner put in this glass cup along with just some Q-tips. So let's start with the keyboard. So we're gonna dip one of those Q-tips within the Lysol. We'll start with the space bar. And you wanna push the key down so it's not going up and down while you're cleaning it and just rub that key, making sure that none of the Lysol is going in the crack but making sure that you're cleaning the entire key. If too much Lysol goes down into the crack, your key may lose functionality, which no one wants. After you've cleaned the entire key with one side, the wet side of the Q-tip, you're going to want to dry the key right away just to ensure that none of the wetness is going to get into the key. So there we go. That would be the entire clean of the top of the key. Now that we have the top of the key clean and renewed, we're going to try and do all the sides of the key. As you can see, there's a, a decent amount of dust within the key. However, this is even more difficult, so you're gonna to want to make sure that your Q-tip is not extremely wet, so there's not gonna be any water or solution getting into the key, but also wet enough that you're still seeing some cleanliness going on. So we're gonna stick that key right into the crevice right there and just push it along. Do those other sides. And then of course, just to dry it really fast. And there we go. Now that full space bar is completely clean. After you do that with all of the different keys, sometimes um, individuals like to go in between all of the keys. However, not normally too much dirt is found in those sections and normally it's kind of cleaned by just trying to get the sides of all the keys. However, it's definitely an extra step for a precaution to make your keyboard even, even cleaner than it was. Now we're gonna try and clean the trackpad. So again, same steps as far as getting that Q-tip wet with solution. And we are going to just lightly push this all along the trackpad, not going even close to near the edges. We do not want any solution to go under and in those edges. Macintosh trackpads are normally pretty um, weak when they have any type of solution getting into the trackpad and that would not be a fun fix to go to the Apple store to have that fixed. Now that we have the trackpad covered with Lysol, we're going to take the dry side of the Q-tip and then we're going to spread the solution towards the track. So there's not very much going towards the edge, but just a little bit, enough to disinfect and clean it. And there we go. Now we have a clean keyboard and a clean trackpad on our MacBook Pro. If you guys have any questions or comments, feel free to tell me below and I will definitely answer those. Have a great one.